The ABCD of the country in which you and I live has changed a lot. Our Prime Minister uses a lot of acronyms, short forms in his speeches, such as 3Ds. Democracy. Lok Tantra. Dusri Takat Hai. Demographic Dividend. A Tisri Vat. Demand. 5Ts. Talent. Tradition. A, B, C, D. As A for Adarsh, B for Bofors, C for Commonwealth Games, and D for Damad Kakaro. RSVP. R, Rahul, S, Sonia, P, Bhadra, P, Priyanka. FDI. Bhartiyon ke liye hai. FDI first develop India P2G2 P2G2 pro people good governor and many many more so deriving inspiration from him we decided to tell you what A to Z stands for in India A. A stands for arrest, arresting people who participated in the protest against CAA and NRC, arresting people who stood up to uphold the secular values of our constitution. A. Also stands for assault, assault on democracy, assault on the freedom of press, assault on the freedom of speech. Numerous students, activists and journalists have been arrested, have been booked or have been imprisoned. B. B stands for that as well. But B stands for Beti Bachao, Beti Padao. Was it a slogan or a warning? C. C stands for Coronavirus. The battle of Mahabharata was won in 18 days. But our Prime Minister said that the war against Coronavirus will be won in 21 days. In spite of asking people to burn candles, torches, clap hands, and of course, this. <laughs> India is still ranked number two for the highest COVID-19 cases in the world. D. D stands for deaf. Deaf to the problems faced by the farmers, deaf to the problems faced by the laborers, deaf to the problems faced by the migrant workers. D also stands for dissent. Dissent which is very essential in a democracy. Something that if you do will land you in a lot of trouble. E. E stands for escape. Escape of Vijay Malia. Nirav Modi, Lalit Modi, Mehul Choksi, oof, and the list goes on. Bablu bhaga hi ja raha, Bablu aao. E also stands for economy, which has been on a downhill for quite some time. F, F stands for fake news. How it is increasingly being used to dilute and corrupt the minds of the people. I'm sure you're aware as to how fake news was used to vilify and demonize a certain community. Lies intentionally dressed up as facts are peddled as breaking news by our mainstream media. G. G stands for GDP, the greatest fall since independence. H. H stands for Hathras. How the body of Hathras victim was disposed of to save the upper caste rapists who were involved in this heinous crime. H also stands for hate speech, something that our anchors, MPs and MLAs engage in regularly in order to grab the limelight. आप देश के विलन हैं आज की तारीख में विलन नंबर वन जो बदतमीज ब्रिगेड है इसका इलाज कब होगा और ये डॉक्टरी इलाज से तो समझ नहीं रहे हैं तो आप समझ रहे हैं ना किस तरह का इलाज इनका करने की जरूरत 
आई स्टैंड फॉर इन्फ्लेशन द राइजिंग कॉस्ट ऑफ पेट्रोल एंड अदर कमोडिटीज आर यू अवेयर दैट वी पे टू हंड्रेड एंड सेवेंटी फाइव परसेंट टैक्स ऑन वन लीटर ऑफ पेट्रोल J is for joblessness and how crores of people lost their means of livelihood due to demonetization and the unplanned lockdown. J also stands for jihad chart, something which our mainstream media tells us so much about. Corona jihad, UPSC jihad, Bollywood jihad, media jihad, love jihad, and many many more. K is for Kashmiris. one year of lockdown and the total communications blackout which was imposed upon them l l stands for lynching we have seen the brutal incidents of lynch mobs or rather self styled vigilante groups lynching individuals on the streets of our country on the mere suspicion of eating beef since these incidents are going on unchecked very soon you may get to see a lynching right on your doorstep m m stands for man ki baat our prime minister is only interested to tell his man ki baat but what about the man ki baat of the aam janta n n stands for no data of pharma suicides no data of the deaths of doctors who died in the line of duty no data of migrant workers and all those frontline workers who died during the lockdown the labor ministry claim that they have no data on how many uh, you know migrants died during that lockdown period of over 60 days o o stands for outcry outcry of the people of india due to the economic slowdown and the outcry of the ones who suffered and lost their loved ones due to communal riots p p stands for protest protest of ca and nrc which was the biggest mass movement in india after independence in spite of the massive reaction against the bill the government is still silent on the issue q q stands for questions since our prime minister holds no press conferences therefore no questions and no criticism is allowed only one way man ki baat chalega r r stands for rapes rapes increasing in india every 16 minutes a rape takes place in our country an average of 87 cases per day a 7.3% increase of crimes against women from 2019 in uttar pradesh alone 32000 cases of rape were reported imagine the ones going unreported s s stands for suicide sushant singh rajput suicide and how it was projected as a grave issue by the mainstream media when our country was going through so many problems t t stands for 20 lakh crore package in the annual budget of 2020 which was only a mere eye wash According to Barclays Financial Company, HSBC India and Care Rating, the government is actually going to spend only about 2 lakh crore for the benefit of the citizens out of the 20 lakh crore package, which is around only 1% of the entire country's GDP and not 10% which was actually stated. U U stands for UAPA and how it has been used to curb dissenting voices and how it was used to imprison and book the scores of journalists students and activists v is for vikas which is missing we have been searching for it for a long time now if you find it please let us know jo bhi vikas ho raha hai daru mein hi ho raha hai v also stands for vaccine politics aap hame vote do hum tumhe vaccine denge har mein har ek ke liye मुफ्त में वैक्सीन मिल जाएगा ये है, है, है। स्टैंड्स फॉर विच हंट द विच हंट बाय द पुलिस अगेंस्ट एनीबडी हु डेयर टू क्वेश्चन द सिस्टम एंड ऑफ कोर्स हाउ कैन वी फॉरगेट द विच हंट बाय द मीडिया एक्स एक्स स्टैंड्स फॉर एक्स अच्छे दिन आर एक्स मेरे से लोग पूछते हैं कि अच्छे दिन कब आएंगे 
मेरे लोगों ने कपड़े फाड़ दिए मेरे लोगों ने चांटे मारे जॉब्स आर एक्स कम्युनल हार्मनी इज एक्स जी डी पी इज एक्स प्लीज टेल इज इन द कमेंट सेक्शन वॉट एल्स यू पीपल थिंक इज एक्स इन इंडिया वाई वाई स्टैंड फॉर योन economy is yawning let's hope it doesn't fall asleep why also stands for youth the rate of rising unemployed youth in our country is a major cause of concern z z stands for zip the lip ha zuban pe lagam not allowing people to speak against the government only for the government maybe this is the reason why we are behind even nepal and sri lanka in the global world press freedom index sab changa si if you like the content which we provide please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notifications from the upfront